There's an all too familiar conversation that's taking place from the leaders of America and really many of the leaders around the world speaking to this idea of the Second Amendment. And they're trying to convince anti-Second Amendment people of something they already think. And they're trying to convince pro-Second Amendment people to go the way that they are believing, which and this argument has to come to an end because it makes no sense. But whenever they say it, you see millions of Americans go, that's right, that's right. Whenever it really just makes no sense. And that's this idea that you don't need 30 rounds to hunt deer. Now, of course, everybody knows that. In Missouri, uh, for the longest time, you were not allowed to have more than three bullets in your rifle if you were deer hunting. And so, so we know that. We're aware that you don't need 30 rounds to hunt a deer. But it's important that we put an end to this conversation because millions of Americans are being convinced that, well, we don't need these types of weapons because you don't need 30 rounds to hunt a deer. But the problem with this argument is that the Second Amendment was not written to preserve our right to hunt. It wasn't. Uh, nowhere in the Constitution does hunting even come up at all. As a matter of fact, you do not have the constitutional right to hunt deer. It's nowhere in there. The Second Amendment was specifically written to hold the government accountable to prevent them from becoming a tyrannical government. Also, it was written to prevent other countries from taking over this country because the people that our forefathers that wrote the Constitution, they wrote it because they've been down that path before. They've been under the subject of royalty and kingship and taxation and persecution. They were, they've been down that road and they knew the only way that they were going to get their freedom was with firearms. And so, of course, they wrote it into their constitution. Now, the Revolutionary War was not started because England was preventing them from hunting. The Revolutionary War was started because it was preventing them from having the freedom that they so desired. The reason they even left Europe in the first place. And that's why it was written. So we have to just put an end to this silly conversation because it doesn't apply. It simply does not apply to the Second Amendment at all in any way, shape, or form. The Second Amendment was not written to give you the right to hunt. It was written to give you the right to defend your country, your family, and your person. Period. No other reason. So just put an end to this conversation. Don't even engage in it anymore. So I know I'm kind of preaching to the choir, but you know, it, it needs to be said. So any thoughts or insight on that, definitely put that below. I do want to take a moment and say that most people who watch this channel are not subscribers to this channel. Please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get the message out. The most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. And never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.